uh, hi everyone welcome to this video so today we will solve this problem so read the question first find the output impedance of the circuit z in uh, for a frequency of 1 hertz uh, so we we need to find the looking in impedance at this point okay so we all know that to find the impedance at a node uh, what we do is we we apply a test voltage with respect to ground and find what is the uh, current coming out of this uh, test voltage and we take vx over ix ratio and find the looking in impedance on that point right so we will do the same here okay so we have to we have to apply a test voltage here vx and we have to measure what is the current coming out of this voltage source and we have to take vx over ix ratio okay and one thing is is given here that uh, frequency is 1 hertz so the impedance uh, produced by this cap capacitor uh, of uh, for on hertz frequency is nothing but we know that cap uh, cap uh, like capacitive impedance is nothing but on over j omega c right so in this case we can see that uh, the j is replaced by i right and i is root minus 1 and that is j we all know right so now uh, for frequency of on hertz the x value is on over i into and omega equal to 2 pi f we all know right 2 pi f f f frequency is on hertz here right frequency is on hertz so we will put hertz and c value like capacitance value is on over 2 pi on over 2 pi so this and this cancels so we have xc as xc as on over i and this is nothing but minus i right so we can read our circuit in this way like we have a transconductance of gm here this is negative here this is positive and positive is grounded here is on on ohm resistance and this is ground and we have this impedance as minus i and this is here and uh, we are applying we are applying a test voltage here with respect to ground and this is our ix to be measured so uh, the circuit will look like this so here no current can pass right no current can goes through this terminal as a it is a ideal transconductor right and this is minus i so we can see that a single current is flowing through this path and here the output current of the transconductor let's say igm is flowing through this path so if we write let's say this is i i let p i p so if we write kcl here we will get so this two current is uh, like uh, these three currents are uh, meeting at this node so if we write kcl ip plus igm plus ix equals zero right and uh, ip is nothing but like these two resistance are in series right this resistance and this resistance are in series so ip is nothing but and this voltage is zero and this voltage is vx so ip is nothing but zero minus vx over this sum of these two resistance right so it will be on plus minus i so this is our ip current plus igm and we know that igm is nothing but like i g m is nothing but the transconductance of this value multiply with like v positive v positive minus v negative v negative right and this is nothing but i g m equals here this is zero voltage right this is zero volts so this is nothing but minus g m v minus okay so this is our plus minus gm 
g minus okay and let uh, let make this ix right side so this will be minus ix but here this g, uh, uh, v minus is unknown right so v minus is nothing but we can directly divide uh, use voltage division rule so here this is vx and we have to find uh, this voltage v minus so, and this is nothing but a simple resistive divider okay so vx is nothing but like v minus is nothing but vx into 1 by 1 plus minus i right so this is nothing but uh, vx by 1 minus i so we will put this value here so we will have uh, minus vx like this is minus vx divided by 1 minus i and minus gm gm times uh, vx over 1 minus i like we are putting this value okay and this is nothing but minus ix so you can see that this is the common part right so vx over 1 minus i is the common part and and my this minus and this minus common and the with uh, like it cancel with this minus so we can write directly plus here so okay okay let me do this thing so this will be uh, 1 plus gm right okay and this is nothing but minus ix so this minus this minus cancels so we are having vx over ix is nothing but so this will be on minus ix divided by uh, 1 plus gm so gm is nothing but here is 4 right minus i divided by 1 plus 4 so this will be 1 minus i divided by 5 so this is nothing but 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 i so this is our answer so let's see the options so in this case we can see that our second option is the correct answer so you can uh, find the impedance uh, looking at here in this way and if we if you can like if you do another uh, approach like if you can do the intuition right but but we know that uh, to apply miller's theorem uh, we need a uh, voltage uh, voltage voltage uh, amplifier right but this is a uh, transconductor right so you can directly cannot apply this miller's theorem like it will be this okay sorry so this will be some percent like some portion of this c and there will be some portion of this c but we cannot do the miller's theorem directly as like if we if you do like if there is no output resistance of this transconductance so we can we know that uh, r out is infinite so if r out is infinite uh, then the uh, dc gain of this uh, transconductor like voltage gain of this transconductance is nothing but gm into r out right so if r is infinite so the gain of this block will be infinite so this is like yeah, and and if, if you do the miller's theorem you will get nothing okay so this is not applicable here in you can try it okay you can try it thank you everyone